Hello, welcome back. In the last set of videos, we understand about load runner and we saw how load runner fits into the load testing. And one of the component of that load runner is virtual user generator. And in this in this video, we are going to get started with the virtual user generator. So let's consider a scenario. So this is you and you are trying to access yes, a website and that website is served from this server and this is the internet and let's say you you brow, you you type the URL here on the browser and you are trying to get a index page in this server so then what happened is that whatever your request that request is requested through this internet to the server and that is a get request Right, and then the server understand the request and respond you back. So this is how you browse a website. Let's say, for example, you want to submit a form. So in that case, the data that you are posting is 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 a post request, and that post request is sent through the server, and the server responds you the and server sends a response back to you, and your browser interprets and you you are able to see those things graphically on the browser so this is how your browser is communicating with a server and that communication protocol is http here consider another example in this scenario this is a windows server and this windows server is being accessed by a remote client using a remote desktop connection and this is your Microsoft remote desktop connection and through internet you are connecting to this Windows server again some communication is happening between the client and the server and the protocol here is no more HTTP rather it is something called RDP or remote desktop protocol here is another scenario where you have a, you have Oracle database 11g server is there somewhere and then using a SQL plus client somebody is connecting to this Oracle database server and doing some insert update delete or some SQL operations so again some kind of communication is happening between the client and the server and the protocol here is no more HTTP or RDP it is something else called SQL Starnet or Oracle NCA protocol alright so essentially my point here is whenever a client is communicating to a server it follows a protocol and that protocol is HTTP here RDP here and SQL Starnet here when we want to do the load test we need to ensure that whatever activity this you are doing right now that activity we must we need to repeat multiple times what can we do so that we can capture the traffic between the browser to the server okay so what you can do we can put a program and just like just imagine a tape recorder so what you're going to do we're going to put a program like a tape record what is going to do it, it is going to stay in between the browser and internet so whenever you are doing the activities in the browser this special program this special program is going to listen those activities and write those activity to a file okay so two more things so it's writing to a file and this program is in between the browser and the internet and this program is called virtual user generator and in this specific case virtual user generator is listening to HTTP traffic and writing to a file and this file is also known as script right similarly virtual user generator can listen to the RDP protocol between this remote desktop client and Windows server and write to do a script similarly virtual user generator can listen to SQL star net traffic between SQL plus and Oracle database and write those things to a script once I have a script then I can take that script and run as many times as I want all right so that is what is virtual user generator the virtual user generator is a program and that program will help you to record the activities that you are doing one time 
so that we can replay it later multiple times all right and in this video so far i had shown you three types of protocol one is http rdp and uh, sql starnet however virtual user generator supports all these protocols that we have given here okay so it's, it's as of now in in loadrunner 11.5 it's more than 52 protocols that it supports and also not only that you can combine you can combine let's say oracle nca with web http and html so that we can have a multi protocol script okay so so this is what the virtual user generator this is how virtual user generator helps you in 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 sniffing those traffic and making uh, and and creating a script which can be reusable later so if you have installed hp load runner then you go to your start then go to all programs then you should see something hp software and then hp load runner and you will see virtual user generator click on this so that we will start up the virtual user virtual user generator in my case it is version 11.52 and this is what you have right now so th this interface is called virtual user generator all right and then what you're seeing here in in the, in the left hand pane you are seeing the recent script and the right hand pane a lot of interesting stuff like what is new what are what are the new things in 11.5 to load runner all right and then you can go to this community where you can get the recent and latest topics on virtual user on on virtual user generator in fact on load runner in in general so i really i really rec recommend you guys to take a look at these things because these are the these are the these are a lot of webinar lot of lot of a lot of uh, t tutorial videos are being provided by hp software on on the new concepts on the new things that is there in the virtual user generator and if you go to the links you will see the document documentation libraries and i highly recommend you to basically use this thing because in the video lectures i will try to be comprehensive but i can i can i but but at the same time i would say that i could never match to the comprehensiveness of a documentation library by the software provider so i highly recommend you to open these documents and go over the view gen and different 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 things uh, you know for for, the, for your reference and in in the start page you are also going to see uh, the supports so this is where load runner knowledge base comes into picture and then if you if you have a license then you can also so ask load runner support and then use their knowledge base on on different topics and this is also also really very huge useful and then the troubleshooting is also also very useful all right so so this is this is in a in a in a, in a nutshell about uh, vue gen for, for, uh, so in, in the next videos we will start using vue gen thank you